Cut and scale guys, Nexus here, welcome back to Destiny 2, and in today's video, we're back again with another weapon review to do, it is gonna be on another weapon that is RNG Hell. Now, I've done RNG Hell 1 with the bottom dollar, RNG Hell 2 with the third Axiom, which is the pulse rifle you get from the Vanguard, and now we're gonna be doing RNG Hell 3 with, obviously, the Frozen Orbit 3, 3. Guys, I'm, you, you can say it in the comments, I know you're all gonna say tree, I'm chopping lumber. Guys, I'm a lumberjack at heart, okay, say tree, okay, it's just how I speak. But the Frozen Orbit orbit itself this is a 72 rpm sniper this sniper is a grind and a half there is this and also also the keeling sidearm these are the drops you get from pvp this season man is it orange yell i know bungie are going to be looking into getting these better drops or giving them better drop rates because i've i've been grinding since the start I'm playing destiny since season of the shows and dropped i've got two drops Two freaking drops and all the drops you can get. But the Frozen Orbit, it is one of those hard to get weapons with massive perk pools. You'll see. I do have a decent roll. I've got Chamber Compensator, Full Bore, Acros, Ransom, Mag, pretty bad magazine perks. Surplus increases handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. And last but not least, I got the Trait Vorpa Weapon. Increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with the super active. Now, I know for a lot of people, this may not be their god roll. But for me, this is definitely up there with my god roll. This is an insanely nice roll for me. Anyway, surplus on snipers is nuts. Especially if you're playing reserved with your abilities. Or you have like Claws of Ahamkara or something on. You will see on the screen though, all the other different rolls you can get as I said. There is a massive perk pool. You can see there's so much crap you can get in this. Now, I know a lot of people straight off the rip will be like, oh, it's 72 RPM. Give me snapshot. Give me snapshot. Or even quick draw. I need quick draw. But the thing is, you can't get Vorpal with snapshot or quick draw. But with the surplus and the Vorpal, if I have my abilities charged, I basically get snapshot sights. And I basically get, obviously, handling and everything. Because the increase is dramatic. God roll wise, you could go for, obviously, killing wind, quick draw. It is just also personal preference. This military trick, though, I think surplus is just insane. And the the thing is, it is a 72 RPM that will roll with kill clip. So if you do get kill clip proc, you will be able to one shot body with the frozen orbit. As I said, it used to be a really, really sweet thing on the Tatara Gaze, which is obviously the forge weapon. It used to be really nice for that, but for consistency sake and for just general PvPing and stuff, multi kill clips and stuff for frozen orbits are in 72 RPMs. They're not the god rolls. It's not really what you're looking for. You're looking for accuracy. You're looking for stability, handling. You're looking for all these juicy perks like surplus, opening shot, vorpal weapon but yeah jesus mary and joseph and all his carpenter friends this is really really bad in the rng scale <laughs> it's so hard to get but without further ado let's go in and try out the frozen orbo in a bit of pvp Alrighty, so we are going to be on the Widow's Court with our Frozen Orban. And honestly, guys, this is what it's going to look like and everything. The weapon itself, it should be super sweet. 72 RPM, Vorp, and all that sort of goodiness. Out there is people rushing us. Ah! Oh, there's the quick snipe. Oh, screw you, buddy. Screw you. And oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, how do I go from being such a pro to doing that? Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, that was bad. That was bad. But there's the quick snipe. You'll see when you got the surplus, the ADS is super fast. As I said, you can get quick draw and everything if you want to. But yeah, surplus just gives you that snippy snap. Though obviously, once I use abilities and everything, it's gonna be wasted or whatever. And I miss two easy snipes through this. But yeah, once I use these abilities and stuff, you will see it will start to uh, not mess up and stuff, but it will definitely affect everything. We'll kill them super fast. So now that I've used my two, you'll see it is starting to slow down a little bit. But that doesn't mean that it's gonna be bad or anything. It's gonna be still juicy. Now there is a guy in a rift. Uh, there's people. People dipping everywhere. Come here. Come here. Stop flinching me. Stop flinching me. My God. I'm aim. There we go. Finally. And then I'm dead. <laughs> Oh my god, sniper flinch sometimes. But you can see the damage of this weapon is super nice. It's just like consistency as well. Like if you body someone with these 72 RPMs, you will destroy their HP. I think that's one of the best things about them. Is that if I hit a body shot, I can literally just push. I know I can push and like guarantee myself a kill. There's a quick headshot. We'll check out this guy. Oh, he's weak. He's weak. I missed the shot. No. Oh my god, I could have killed him. But look at this guy anyway. There's the headshot. I will say, though, it actually feels pretty sticky. The zoom is quite large. I will admit that much. And that guy just bodied me. I will admit, though, yeah, the zoom is quite large in this. It is... It isn't that great. But you can see that even with the surplus and everything, the reload starts to become super handy, too. It becomes super nice, and I'm getting shot in the freaking back. When you got the surplus going, the stability becomes freaking insane on this. Obviously, with the extra... Stability masterwork I've got as well. Now, if I could, if I could hit a headshot, if I could hit a body shot even, that would be great. But that's what I mean by hitting body shots with these. It's super nice for that sort of stuff. It's just, honestly, this is a really sweet ass sniper. As I said, though, the RNG on it is a freaking killer. I mean, it sucks. Donkey dog. I mean, the RNG. 
as I said, I've gone through how many Crucible games playing since the uh, season of the Chosen dropped, and I've gotten two of these. But yeah, I'm enjoying the weapon so far, as I said, it's a sweet ass archetype, so it's always gonna do well, even for stuff like that. If you want a body shot a dude, and then uh, quickly switch to the weapon, can you just not please? But then quickly switch to the weapon, and then uh, your primary whatever you're using, so 72 RPM or 120 RPM hand cannons, always gonna be super sweet and everything. Now I'm getting freaking destroyed by something. But yeah, 120 hand cannons are gonna be super consistent just for a body shot, because it's guaranteed one shot if you body them. So I will say, the combo right now is just unreal. So you can get the quick snipe, screw your body, oh my god, there's multiples, there's multiples, oh, oh, we got him, oh, we got him, screw you, we had the Vorpal going, I mean, I mean, it didn't really help out too much, <laughs> he was nearly dead, but there is where the Vorpal will come in clutch, if someone does super me, if I get a Behemoth Titan, I am gonna be so happy, because I'll be able to shut its ass down, we're playing against Behemoth, you know, the one game I need Behemoth Titans, no one's playing Behemoth, <laughs> uh, a couple of dudes gonna be running over here though, and there's the quick snipe, as I said, 72 RPMs, they're just super nice for just, uh, just destroying people's hey, HP. And that guy's one shot. No, screw you, buddy. Oh, he's literally one HP. He's literally one HP. Nice kill, buddy. I am on a pretty decent map for, obviously, the L uh, sniping. Widow's Court. Definitely an ace map for snipping, sniping, and everything like that now. But if he comes above you, I got your back. Jack will hit that shot, though. Ooh, it feels so crisp, though. I wouldn't say it's as good as a Voker was, but there's the freaking Ghost of the Night. Oh, we're slaying now. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Revoker was, but it definitely feels sweet. That sort of crap, though, is where you get destroyed. When someone is using the old uh, scouts or whatever, something that makes you flinch, you literally cannot aim, even with the surplus and everything, because the sniper flinches are so bad now. Go to this. Quick scope this guy. Oh, oh, no. There we go. We got the kill. Don't worry, boys. We got it. Maybe not everyone's good, but 17 kills out to get a 3.4 as if mercy rule. It's going to be quick, but you can see already the frozen orbit can slay. Alrighty, so we are going to be on the rusted lands with a frozen orbit sniper, and you'll see us yes, when you have all your abilities. Yeah, it's super fast and everything. So, snapshot isn't the most needed thing in the world. You can obviously get your uh, surplus of warp ball. I think it's sweet anyway, so I can shoot those stupid behemoths down. I need to kill them. Oh my god, can I not get frozen when I'm not even looking? We got some behemoths. Oh, we're against two behemoths. Alright, so maybe I'll shoot a behemoth down this game. But yeah, the sniper itself, it feels super nice now. Obviously, ain't gonna hit much if they're lagging like hell. Oh my god, oh, we got him! We got him! And that's a shotgun with a fell winters. <laughs> oh god, good start, good start. But it feels super nice, it's said. It's not up to Revoker standard in terms of how, like, comfortable or how much snappy and everything I feel it is. So this one definitely feels sweet. Now, that is a Widow Horde shooting at me, so I'm just gonna quickly demolish his face off. Can this guy die? He's just been in our spawn, like, all game. Oh my god, oh my god, we- Oh! Freaking flicked on, bruh! Oh, no, no, I'm also, we need a dip. Can we stop? My god, how am I still at C flag and they're all here? What the hell is going on? Okay, this guy's a shotgun. No, sir, no, sir. Do not even try shotgun me. Okay, we kept B flag, boys. We did it. We did it. We kept it. Do it here, though. We're gonna body him because he's so weak. And yeah, there we go. We kept C, boys. We can power plane. What you gotta do? You gotta hold the line with your frozen orb and sniper. Get some flicks going. I will say, it does feel good, though, as I said. It may be not a provoker. But Revoker was a, a, some weird ass voodoo and stuff, so we'll body shot him and we'll hit this guy in the body as well. That is why obviously these are really sweet too. The body shot damage is just that insane. We'll get this guy who's super weak. Uh, we'll get this guy as well. Oh, no! What the? What is this warping nonsense? He just freaking warped past me. Oh, my no scope. But the damage for a body shot is just that insane on this. Oh, bro, sit down. But it's just that nice that. I just know if they're weak, I can legit just body shot them and I get a free kill. Then we'll try to get this guy up. Oh, he's using the freaking bow. Come on, bro. <laughs> I knew he had to. You hit one shot with the bow and you're like, oh, I need to hit this shot. And freaking hell, there's so many uh, winter snipers or freaking uh, titans going around. They're going for C flag again, boys. All right, go for C flag. I dare you. Go for C flag. Run out of switch your shotgun nonsense. Oh, oh, oh. The what the? What is going on? Where'd he go? What? The Titans are warping everywhere. Oh, is that the guy up there? I have no idea, but we're going to nade him. Right, we need to get the long angle, though. I need to get a long angle on a dude. There's a couple to my right. Oh, he's up there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we bodied him. Oh, and there's the shot. Oh, my God. I need to dip. And we out of We out of there. Come on. Oh, we're going to repeat, actually. We got, bro. Oh. No, I missed. <laughs> Can this guy die? I got freaking shotgun. My god. I'm going for the most ridiculous shots ever with my sniper. All right, we're getting power playing now. Oh, there's a guy right here. What gun? Oh my god, I missed that shot. Okay, he... Don't know why he swung on that one, but we don't care. We're going to get this ammo. Okay. When the behemoth's coming in. Okay, one of them has behemoth now. He's going to launch it when we're all stacked, boys. That must be him, right? That's got to be him. No, it's not. 
to a freaking Arc Star uh, Arc Striker. I always mess with Titan Striker name. Come on, come on, someone peek. Do it! Use your behemoth! I implore you, use it! Oh my god, that's another freaking one of them. There's the headshot. Screw you, buddy. Freaking guys, use it! Come on! Oh, oh my god, here's the board pull anyway, though. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I didn't get the headshot. But at least it wasn't the behemoth. You'll see the damage is still gonna be super sweet on these when you uh, when they do have their super and everything. They were gonna kill him. Anyone else? Anyone else? Where's the behemoth going? Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh, my buddy! Don't, oh no, bro, bro, bro! Come on, bro, bro, bro! bro. Whoop! And there he's dead. <laughs> That's the other thing that goes in super well. It's just that if you do manage to shoot or oh, we'll try to get this guy. I'm flinching like mad. Look at that flinch! Oh, we headshot him. Yep, I'm totally accurate. I'm totally accurate, boys. Totally freaking accurate. I knew I was gonna hit that shot. Just gotta spray sometimes. Oh my god, no! Oh, am I alive? I don't know, but I'm dead. Oh, the glacier quakes in. Respawn fast! But, well, actually, you know what? I can just spawn in about five minutes. He's still going to be running around with that glacial quick because that shiz lasts uh, quite a while now. Where's he at, boys? Where are you at? Well, the glacial quick is gone. <laughs> oh, my God. I swear to God. I just need someone in, like, literally, I'll play against glacial quakes. I'll, I'll get killed by it three times over at the same dude. And then I go looking for them. They're nowhere to be seen. Just nowhere to be seen. I'm getting shot by freaking someone with, okay, we're going to headshot him. Oh my god, freaking dead man's tail. Yep, that's what I was getting shot by. Where is the glacier quakes? Come on. Oh, they both used it. Oh my god, he switched. No way. He was he switched to a striker. Are you serious, bro? Who on who on earth turned stasis off? Are you like what sort of move is that? It's only stasis or nothing. It's like nerf guns. Stasis or nothing, guys. Come on. Oh my god, okay. We're probably not gonna get a kill on a behemoth. I mean, I wanted to go behemoth hunting, but it ain't gonna happen, cheap. It ain't gonna happen. Oh, we'll get him super fast. Give me the heal. Ah, uh, that guy's dead. But that is the law. So we were actually stomping, and then we kind of, uh, kind of started trolling. We started going for freaking quick scopes and stuff. But I will say, frozen orbit. You can see PVP. It is a dope sniper. Twenty six opponents defeated though. Two point three six. But as I said, this sniper, this frozen orbit, it actually is really sweet. It hits some crispy domes. Well, that is it for me and the frozen orbit sniper rifle. As I said, this is legit orangey hell to get a good roll of it and everything. I think my roll though, for me personally, it is my god roll and everything. I do love surplus and warp weapon as a combo. It means that if I am sniping, I'm kind of sitting back anyway, and I'll be able to pick people off with full, like, abilities, whatever. And this warp ball is super nice for shutting down supers. We didn't shut down too many. We did hit one super. But it does come in super clutch, as I said, for dealing with supers. Like, uh, obviously, behemoths, uh, dawn blades, whatever, really fast supers, or, like, just... Mo supers that have no projectiles even they're just super nice for dealing with them and getting the headshot you will just one shot them which is super nice i will say if you want to meme around and you get a roll with kill clip and everything that would be fun as i said this will one shot after one stack of kill clip so that would be pretty fun it would be like going around with the tire gaze again but for consistency's sake and everything a lot of people will say to me they'd go for vorpal or they'd go for opening shot killing wind moving target opening shot also is a super nice roll but as i said it is personal preference the orangey on this though is super bad so while you're trying to find your god roll you you will probably get multiple rolls of this and as I said Bungie will be improving the drop rate of these weapons sometime in the future so maybe that would be the best time to grind it and everything but the frozen orbit sniper rifle it is one of the better weapons they've released this season third axiom was super sweet as well and the keeling was all right and obviously bottom dollar was dope but the frozen orbit is definitely up there with one of the top weapons to get this season but regardless if you like the video show us like and want to see more content subscribe fantastic day and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one